Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm heading over to Tour Custom Cycles. Mike, he's going to help me finally to fix the cruise control. The cruise control module that we finally were able to get from one of the Harley dealers. There were three dealers around the United States that had that part. That part is back ordered till uh, November 2024. That's another three months ahead. Finally got to do it. We're going to install it and let's hope it works. Good morning. Heading over. This is exciting because as you recall during the whole the whole 8,000 mile trip, pretty, pretty much actually seven out of the 8,000 mile trip cross country, New Jersey to California and back, I was without cruise control. So Try to stop at a few Harley dealerships to see if they have the part. They didn't have the part. It's the left it's the left side uh, handlebar cruise control module. It's the low rider S and ST. It's not the add-on, it's the whole module. It's the whole braid that includes the horn, you know, uh, the lights, signal lights, everything, the whole, the whole module. So that part is just not available and it's back ordered to November. We're now in the uh, end of September, and I've been waiting already two months. Mike from uh, Tour Custom Cycles were able, was able to source that that part from one of the dealerships in, uh, I think, in Tennessee. Actually, he just bought it off him. Otherwise, I'll be I'll be waiting for months and months. And so we're here again, Tour Custom Cycles in Hackensack, my go-to, my go-to spot. Mike always takes care of me. Obviously, seat is off. Then we're gonna lift the tank. By the way, this time I did not, did not fuel up. So there's like less than a gallon over here. Oh, so, is it? It yeah. looked like it was full. Oh, oh great, no, that's yeah. even better for me. Last time, last even time it was full. Well, we're not dynoing, so. No, not dynoing, but we have to lift the, uh, you have to lift the. Uh, we got to pull the whole tank off. Yeah, right, right. Just make it easier. Because we have to get uh, probably the connection over here, right? That's where it ends. It ends here through the handlebars and all the way. Is this the whole harness it's over the here? Whole thing the internals of this, right? Yes. 
Yeah, okay. But remember, we're adding the uh, heated grip harness, so right. we have to get to that uh, junction block. Right, yeah, of tank. course, yeah, yeah. As you remember, when we installed the risers and I opted in for the heated gears, so we had the heated gears, but the low rider S, low rider ST, actually needs to get its power from a junction box down here. So there's actually, if you buy the heated grips for this, you also, you'll see it in, uh, on Harley's website, you actually need a, like a splitter. There's oh, a their splitter that goes here in the junction box and gives power to the heated grips. That is, this is the splitter, this is the part number. That you have to get additionally when you're getting the heated grips for the Lowrider S, Lowrider ST, I'm not sure from what year it started, but. Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll open it up sh uh, soon and I'll show you. Damn. What? That's big. Just an extra. You have to re read the directions oh, dude. The dude, with the fuse and everything. And zip ties, uh, wow. And this is for 30, yeah, no. Yeah, it was only like. This is $30, that's yeah. it? All this plastic, $30? Okay, fuel tank is off. This is where we want to get all the access. Uh, first, for the uh, module, the cruise control module that will start over here, go through the handlebars up into this area. But we're also going to go into the junction box. Is it junction junction box over here where we get the power, or it's uh, actually so? What I over think here. is going to happen is I think they're um, going to try to pull it from <clears> here, huh? We're going to do something here. Uh, that's gonna probably send power up another pin. I'm not 100 percent sure yet. Mm -hmm. I gotta look at it, but that's what it looked like from that. Because that harness that. isn't long enough to make it all the way out. I got you. So it's got to do something. Okay. I think we'll figure it out. Mike is good with the uh, wiring, electronics, and stuff like that. That is what's being replaced, right? That's the. And I just realized I went to blow my nose in the bathroom. Just realized this whole video I just saw in the mirror. I had this long piece of hair hang sticking on my head like a schmuck. I'll probably look in this video. Anyway, hopefully I just got it. Yeah. Let me check again. For the power to the heated grips, right here we have to have, uh, there's actually no power going to here. That's the splitter that we just got splitting from here to here and then that's going to be running through the frame all the way up to here and into the heated grips 
Okay, purple to red because that's power. That's power for the PNA circuit. Right. Okay. There's snow, it's still whining. It's like, why is it so loud? Making the extension over here for to run the wire through through the frame all the way to our split right here. Snaking it in, huh? Yep. Okay. Normally I'd use a different tape, but I don't yeah, have it. I don't have any. So if anybody, any of your viewers want to buy me electrical tape and send or, or it, send it comment, to Hackensack. Or want to comment that that's not the, not the electrical tape is for. But I'll take donations. Yep. There we go, there's the power. Let there be light, or let there be heat. Usually it doesn't work together. If the lug jugs are working, then it's summer. You don't need the heated gear. <laughs> All right? <laughs> this is true. Because it's, it's on the same power line. So the lug jugs and the, the heated gear. I'm our, just hooking this up temporarily just yeah, to right. test the grips, and then I'll, I'll fish okay. everything where it's supposed to be. Here's the keys, the keys, the keys, the keys. All right, so I'll just let that heat up for a little bit. It's on six. Yep. I I yeah, well, this is heating up. I'm kidding. <laughs> 74. 73. Let's give it a few minutes, Mike. Come on, patience. I don't have any. <laughs> Well, guys, we're almost done, but while the bike is on the lift, you remember on the trip, during the trip, Danny and I stopped on the side of the road and uh, replaced our oil. We did our oil change, but we never got uh, to the transmission and to the primary. So that's what we're doing. The bike is on the lift. Mike is doing that for us right now. So soon we'll finish with the oils and we'll check the controls on top and hopefully we got it done. The red oil. These bolts, for whatever reason, very common to strip, the head strips. They snap. Not strip, they, they snap. They snap, they snap right? right off. I've seen it on all the Facebook, all the Facebook forums. You, see, you always see somebody posting this without a head, like, what do I do now? The last one in. And how I, how I tighten these is I just, I grab my hand up here on the ratchet. I don't use down here. So you don't get too much so there's no leverage. There. So I'll just kind of palm the ratchet. Yeah. And then I'll just snug them up like that. In a, in so a, people pretty much are using pattern. too much, too much force. Yeah. I mean, listen, I've, I've used the torque wrench and spun these to their torque that they're supposed to be. And they just snap. And they still snap. Yeah. So that's why I just. Combination of over torquing and yeah. uh, poor manufacturing of these bolts. Yeah. I just uh, palm the ratchet. The, uh, the touring bikes have a much, um, a thicker screw. It's a better, better screw. The difference between the touring uh, bolt and the soft tail. So you see, that's why these soft tail tend to, to snap, the head snap. The touring is much sturdier, bigger, stronger, bigger, faster. Da, 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 da. Steve Austin. Remember that? Man barely alive, the six million dollar man. We can rebuild them. We have the technology. Okay, cleared the codes. Bike is ready. Mike is taking it out for a ride. Let's see how it does. Oil's changed. The, the brace, not the brace, the cord, the, the wire has changed, the module has changed. You need help to push it back, right? Maybe not, let's okay. see. Oh yeah, because... Uh...
So, Mike just took it uh, for a spin. It seems like everything's okay. I'm gonna ride it for the next few days, make sure that everything's okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's see. It's all cruise control. It's working, that's what it looks 